Hi Aries, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. I'm doing your uh, Aries read for the third week of June 2022, okay? It's, although it's a timeless read, but yeah, I'm just doing the Zodiacs. I think that people like to see them. So this is for Aries, third week of June 2022. Just, just quickly to let you know, uh, I don't use gender and I don't use the signs, okay? They don't exi uh, exist in the world of spirits, okay? We embody these energies all the time. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female or whatever gender you identify as. It doesn't matter what's in your natal, ch natal chart, okay? What matters is the energy. So if this is your story, you're going to know it based on the descriptions I give you. So take what applies, toss the rest, and don't try to make it fit. If it doesn't, it is a general read, okay? Not every read is going to be for you. So you have to use your, your discernment, okay? If I use the he and she pronoun, it's only because it's on the card and it helps to keep it straight in my head. And uh, I will be using the tarot cards after the oracle cards. I'll give you the descriptions of each and every card that I feel intuitively as well as their interpretations. You know your story best. They could be all the descriptions, some are one. So take what applies, toss the rest. If it doesn't make sense, then it's not part of your story, okay? It doesn't fit in, so just toss it. We're ready to go. Sun Berries, third week of June, 2022. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Here we go. Oh, the Winged Wise Ones. Angelic Help, Miraculous Aid, card number 34. That's seven tarot. It's moving forward, leaving the baggage behind, having awareness, radical acceptance, take, getting in the driver's seat, moving forward, right? Forward movement. It's also a card of victory. So spirit is obviously working with you on something, moving forward here. Winged wise ones, 34. Why is this here? I add some clarity, please. Spirit guides, guardian angels, and that's the white light. Why is the... Oh, that popped up. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, and completion. Union. Wow. So somebody's ascended, bottom of the deck. Somebody's ascended. Yeah, I guess some, the spirit is working with somebody. Wow. Somebody has this ascendancy. They're up higher. Our spirit working hard. <laughs> they do work hard on our behalf to let you know that. Um, you should be aware of that. They work hard. It's a thankless job sometimes for them, right? It doesn't hurt to thank them. All right. So somebody wants to reconcile with somebody and they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to figure out how they're going to do it. You got to get rid of their side pieces, maybe. They have, to, they have to be completely single. Not even talking to them, right? That's what the cards are saying right now. Just the cards falling out. This is for Aries, third week of June, 2022, Spirit. What's the message for the sign of Aries, please? The cards are a little weird. Nervous, like fluttery, jittery. All right. I'm sure he's going to pop the question, I guess. They're going to be nervous. Already cut the cards now. Love. New love, true love, self love. This is love. This is a gift from the divine, okay? All aces in the upright are. It's beautiful. This is love. But they can't take action right now. I don't know why. Ace of Wands in reverse. Oh, because they have to break up with somebody else. There could be some trust issue, issues, maybe. It's obviously an ex. Maybe you guys broke up under some really difficult situations here. There's trust issues maybe. Or maybe they have to leave somebody else. I don't know. This is explosive. The tower in reverse. Yeah, the universe is coming in to shake shit up. <laughs> maybe they have to kick somebody out maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to avoid... It's, it's going to be worse. Somebody's going to be... Somebody's bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles... It's explosive here. Somebody's trying their damnedest. They're working on themselves, maybe. Yeah, they're working on something. They want to bring success to a situation. They're working hard. Right now, they don't have the money, maybe. Maybe they're just trying to build up their, their, their money. Right? Yes. Oh, why is the tower in reverse for the sign of Aries? Third week of June. Thank you. Mm, page of Cups in reverse. So there is somebody being left behind. Page of Cups in reverse. This is feeling rejected, abandoned. Somebody's having an emotional outburst, maybe. Somebody's uh, immature, insincere, 
Uh, that could have been the past. I don't know. Take it, take it as supplies, okay? It's your story. Like I said, it could be all these descriptions, some are one. Mm, they rejected an empress. Or I said they were immature with an empress. This is all four queens in a deck rolled up into one person, okay? They learned the highs. And, they went through the highs and lows of every queen in, in the deck. Uh, learned their lessons, okay? Had to eat a lot of crap, a lot of humble pie, um, hardships, whatnot. But through their pain, they bring new life into the world, whether it's a child. And it could be a male in Empress Energy. All it means is that it's something that's loving, very compassionate and empathetic, you know? Unconditional love. Very artistic and creative. They, they, they bring new life into the world, right? Um, everything they touch turns to gold. They're very abundant and intuitive, right? Abundant is right. They got 10 pentacles out of 10 here. So somebody who was playing games with an empress. Page of cups in the reverse. Sign of Aries, 30th of June. Thank you. Yeah, now they got to prove themselves to this empress. They know it. Okay, they were immature. Ten of Wands in the upright. This is burdensome. Okay, they're they're carrying these, this huge load on their back, right? Mhm. Mm <laughs> no way. This look at this at the bottom of the deck. So they have to prove something to the wife. I guess they got married or they're living with somebody. This is a wife card. Doesn't have to be, but you know somebody that's a wife card. Um. They thought was an empress. It's not an empress or, or, oh no, I think I see a different picture here. This was the empress when they were with them. Okay. They had something to prove. They were immature. That's what it is. They had a chip on their shoulder. The empress, the queen of pentacles in the upright was stable and secure, abundant, hardworking. She had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. I'm only saying she because it's on the card. Um, they had integrity, loyalty, and honesty. They were loving, healing, n nurturing. Uh, they knew their worth and value. And they got they had a chip on their shoulder, so they devalued the empress. Stole money, used her for money. Wow, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. It's in the reverse. Yeah, used her for money for their stability. For them and their side piece. I can't believe it. They didn't care who they hurt. Queen of Cups reverse. This is a um, very selfish, uh, superficial person. They manipulate emotionally, right? They don't have a good handle of their emotions, okay? Their emotions are scattered. But they were supporting their side piece as well, using the Empress's money. And beneath that is the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're, they're bricking it right now. Either I think it's the Queen of Cups in reverse that's breaking it because this person wants to leave them now, I think, to go back to the Empress. Wow. Somebody created a shit show. Now they don't want to stick around and watch it. Oh. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Empress in reverse? Or Queen of Cups. Wow. That's not a mistake, is it? That's why it's, Why is the Queen of Cups here? I don't know. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in the upright, Queen of uh, Empress in reverse. Yep, see, that just fell out. Now, they're losing their stability. Since the Empress is gone, they've lost their stability and security. They're losing their home. There's awareness now. Judgment. Yeah, there's a judgment. They're aware. People are now knowing. That they now see who was paying what. Who was the blessing here. Okay. Yeah. Before, they didn't see it. Now people around them are seeing the truth. And now they're shitting bricks. They were using the Empress's money. Well, guess what? My jig is up. They can't come and get any more money. They're blocked now, okay? The Empress is gone. Yeah. They're embarrassed. They're disgraced. They want to put this behind them. Yep. Five of Swords in Reverse. Or you can go a different way. The side piece is trying to, she was trying to act like the Empress after the Empress left. Tried to take on her doppelganger, you know what I mean? But she's not the Empress. She can't provide like the Empress. She can't, she's nothing like the Empress. Yep, they're losing their home, right? There's the home. Can't make payments, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. It's the end of the line. 
uh, it's time to move on. It's a relocation. So they, I think, put a home, because I had this read before a few times, they put the home in the Empress's name or used her credit or something. Doppelganger, right? Doppelganger. Queen of Wands. Time to move on from the Queen of Wands. Mistress. Told you. Yep. Because they're stuck here. Well, what you gonna do when they come for you? Let's bring this to a close for the sign of the Aries. They spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors, or whatever. Yep, they gotta move. They gotta move. They're down the line. They don't have any money left. It's a card of you get what you give, bitch. Yep. Yep, somebody wants to come back to the Empress, or they're, sti they're still there, pretending they're happy, but they're not. Putting on a big farce for their friends and family. They're heartbroken. Mm-hmm. Three of Swords in the upright. They're very heartbroken because they're now skint. They wound up with somebody that's codependent, clingy, uh, very demanding, very selfish, overspends. They're out of money, okay? They defraud people, right? What can I say? It's just a fraud who lies their friggin' face off. Ace of Swords in reverse, right? Parting of ways, three cups in the reverse. Not happy. Oh, well, right? They're, they were also juggling. Yeah, hermit in the upright. Finding out somebody was juggling as well. <laughs> so they're letting them go. Eight of Swords in reverse. That's the two of Pentacles, the hermit. Somebody had no integrity, loyalty, and honesty. Bye. Yeah, fighting all the time, right? Being defensive all the time. Feeling attacked, maybe. They're scared. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's come back to bite them in the ass, the world in reverse, okay? They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior, not learning their lesson. Now they can't make a payment. Page of Pentacles, they took a big risk and they lost, okay? They they forged. This is false inf information, they gave false information. They forged papers. They lied. The Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay? Because they were jealous. They were vengeful, vindictive, hateful, spiteful. You name it. Okay? Now somebody's trying to run away. Even a car. It could be a car involved too. Not just a house. Yeah. They're hateful. They're mad. They have somebody's moving on. Man. Letting them go. Four of Pentacles. Or maybe that's why they did it. They got pissed off because the Empress let them go. And they forge papers. How how get even, right? Yep, there's all illusions. Magician in the upright. There's addictions. They went they went extra here. They went they went to extremes. Okay? Inappropriate behavior. Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, lack of accountability. Okay? There's no healing here. They don't want to compromise. Oh well, that's too bad. Let's see what the courts have to say. Yeah, they're really there's a parting away. They were gr uh, grieving and regretting now. Crying over spilt milk. Five of uh, cups in the upright. Go leave it there. Right? The winged wise one, angelic help, miraculous aid, engagement ring. So I guess they ain't got engaged to this partner. They're committed now, for sure. Eternity. Completion. It's a completion, for sure. Completion of the union. I thought it was going to go the other way. I'm sorry, Aries. <laughs> I thought it was going to go the other way. <clears throat> That's why I came out with the two of cups in reverse. They are parting away. Yeah, they are. It's a clusterfuck here. How are we ending this reef with Sun of Aries, please? Third week of June, 2022. Oh, thank you. To be fair, card number 38. That is the 11. That is justice, okay? Somebody's heart's being waved. You see that? See the scales? Somebody was flying by the seat of their pants. No, see? Thought they were entitled. See that crown? <laughs> You're not entitled. I think it's a doppelganger. You see the two arms here? Somebody was pretending to be somebody else. Right? They were wearing a mask. Can you see that up close? There's higher wisdom here. It's also, uh, owls represent higher wisdom. They also represent death. It's the end. Okay? To be fair. So that's the justice card coming in. Weighing. We're, yep. They're getting what they, what they deserve. Right? And the Empress shall be getting what she deserves out of this whole mess too. Karen Fogg indeed. 38. To be fair. Balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. The Oracle's message, life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering to loving, to letting go to being again. 
Life is a pendulum swinging between all of these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you're not content with, with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So I guess this person who played fast and hard is going to have to compromise. Okay? They're going to have to bite the bullet. <laughs> what they put into this house, they're not going to get out of this house. Okay? If it's in somebody else's name, guess what? Do you put the risk in their name? They take the prize. Got it? Get it? Good. Could have some jail time going too. All right. Anyhow, that's what I got for you, Aries. I hope this is uh, illuminating. <laughs> I hope this helps. Uh, if you like the video, please like and uh, subscribe. And until next week, take care.